So in the world of Black China and the Kardashian nonsense, it seems that she is winning again for the third or fourth time in the row. It doesn't look like it's good news for the Kardashians. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button guys. The daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch. I'm coming to you with content every single day guys. There is just so much happening. So subscribe and click that button and let's get straight into this video. So it seems that, you know, we know what's going on with the Black China suing ordeal with Rob and the Kardashians and, you know, red tete whatever, whatever, whatever. It's now August. I believe they were meant to try to come to some kind of settlement in July. And amid there being no reports of any updates, only by, assumpt only by assumption, I would assume that they have not reached any settlement. They have not reached any agreement and they're just not going to go that way, which means that this is definitely going to court. Now, um, according to doc court documents obtained by Radar, a judge in LA, um, Superior Court, has now set a trial date for April 15th, 2022, where both parties are due to resolve their dispute over allegations made by her in 2017. Why does it take so long? It's just so annoying. Like 2017, like nearly like five years. Rob's family, who are named as the defendants, are family matriarch Chris, Kylie, and Kim, and Chloe. Um, the news arrived just a few months after three judges found that Black China submitted substantial evidence that supported defamation claims made against the four women. The evidence reportedly backs up her claim that the momager lied about an accusation that Black China beat the sh out of Rob's face. Um, so Black China also proved that Chris China was a ringleader for the plot to get season two of Rob and China cancelled. Kim, Chloe and Kylie each separately defamed and intentionally interfered with China's contract. So why this is, you know, of course that came to news in the early couple of months of this year, in February, I recall reporting this, and now we're in August, like time flies. Um, but at the same time, time does fly. But this is obviously a new update and great news for um, China because she's now been given that court date that she's been desperately looking for to take the Kardashians to, talk, um, to court, sorry, to deal with the situation at hand. And to receive that court date is, you know, another step in the right progression for her because of course the Kardashians don't want to go to court, but it seems that all of them might stand trial. You might see Kim on the trial. You might see Kylie, like you might, you, it just, it will be very unnecessary for them to do so. And I feel like she might be rewarded with a huge settlement in the end for the loss of money from getting her show canceled. But it is another update um, in the midst of the situation that has been going on. I have been giving you guys regular updates at least every one or two months of the stuff that, you know, just keeps happening. And it looks like it's all going Black China's way, guys. It's all going her way. We'll just see what happens and who wins when it comes to the court date, April 15th, 2022. Let me know your thoughts are, guys. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.